Hello dear students this is Dr Amarpreet Kaur a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department in today's uh, lecture we will understand transcription transcription simply means synthesis of rna from dna dear students there are a number of rnas in a cell and they have different functions but the main function of rna is to copy the genetic information which is present inside the dna in coded form okay and it directs the synthesis of proteins in your book the definition for transcription it is given as the process of copying genetic information from one strand of dna into rna so from this definition one thing is very clear and that is only one strand of dna is involved in the synthesis of rna okay rna unlike dna is not double stranded and only one strand of dna it gets involved in synthesis of rna and uh, there are two explanations for this thing that is why only one strand of dna is involved in uh, synthesis of rna or you can say in transcription so number one explanation is if both the strands act as a template okay we have two strands of dna and uh, both act as a template and they code for rna molecules but these rna molecules have different sequences because the two strands of dna they are complementary to each other because adenine it is combined with other um, other other strand of dna when it forms a bond with thymine clear and similarly cytosine it forms a bond with guanine so if both the strands of dna they act as a template and they will form the rnas which have different sequence and what will be the result the result will be that when they code for the proteins the sequence of the amino acids in two proteins two rnas they will be different okay the sequence of amino acids in proteins they will be different and it will lead to some harmful results to avoid those untoward repercussions only one strand of dna it is involved in transcription clear and other explanation is that if there will be two rna molecules and they will be complementary to each other hence they will form a double stranded rna so what will happen if rna will be double stranded dear students it is going to prevent the translation or you can say it will it, it will prevent the synthesis of proteins clear dear students before going ahead i would like to ask you kindly open your book okay at page number 107 yes i am talking about your standard biology book which is by ncert here is a picture it is labeled as figure 6.9 and it is showing the systematic structure of transcriptional unit let's understand first what is transcription unit transcription unit is that strand of dna where transcription takes place okay it's also prevalent in the picture you can see clearly that there are two strands of dna one from 3 5 prime to 5 prime and other strand from 5 prime to 3 prime okay and this strand it is divided into 
three parts promoter promoter structural gene and terminator but we know that only one strand of dna it gets involved in transcription okay one quick question what is the direction of polymerization dear students it is happening with one direction 5 prime to 3 prime okay <clears throat> and uh, there is a complementary rule and it is also applicable over here so if polymerization it starts from 5 dash to 3 dash prime what will be the polarity of dna strand which is involved in transcription yes right it will be 3 prime to 5 prime this strand of dna having polarity of 3 prime to 5 prime it is known as template strand okay or you can say non coding strand the other strand of dna which is not involved in transcription is known as coding strand or sense strand students um coming back to transcription unit here the promoter the function of promoter is attachment of rna polymerases yes um as we have seen in replication dna polymerases they play a major role here rna polymerases does the same function okay so promoter it recognize um rna polymerases and this enzyme it gets bind over here certain sequences in promoter region they are conserved means they remain they have they are having the same uh, sequence and it is conserved from many generations and this sequence it is known as recognition sequence clear and in middle of uh, this dna template there are structural genes that that code for some proteins and at the end of um, this template our transcription unit there is terminator terminator the function of terminator is to end the transcription process dear students now we will examine about the transcription in prokaryotes okay it usually occurs in cytoplasma of a cell eukaryotic cell and the enzyme which is most prominent in transcription it is dna dependent rna polymerases there is single type of rna polymerases in prokaryotes and this enzyme it has capability to synthesize three different types of rna what are the three different types of rna you people must know about it because you have learned this in your pre previous class that is class 11th in the title in the subject cytology yes the rnas are mrna trna and rrna see students this rna polymerases it is actually a hollow enzyme it is made up of certain parts and the parts are alpha alpha are simply alpha square beta beta prime omega and sigma sigma is detachable and the core enzyme it is alpha square alpha 2 beta beta prime and omega the transcription it takes place in three steps number 1 initiation number 2 elongation and number 3 termination initiation it is catalyzed by sigma factor okay where the sigma factor is present dear students it is present in rna 
polymerases it gets bind to the promoter site of transcription unit okay and this sigma factor it is very essential for initiation step if this sigma factor is absent so transcription is not possible the second step it is known as elongation what is happening in elongation the rna polymerases it adds sub units to the chain okay of rna and the third is termination ruhu factor okay it is important for the stoppage of transcription unlike prokaryotic transcription eukaryotic transcription there are three different types of enzymes okay they they are rna polymerases 1 rna polymerases second and rna polymerases third and they have different functions for example rna polymerases first it forms our synthesis 5.8 as unit that is of ribosome 18 as uh, 28 as okay all these uh, are relevant to our rna that codes for ribosomal rna clear now rna polymerase is second it synthesizes heterogeneous rna okay simply it is denoted by small h small n and capital rna the third enzyme is rna polymerase is third okay and it codes for the enzyme not enzyme sorry it codes for the ribosomes that is tRNA scRNA 5s rRNA and small nuclear rna clear students the heterogeneous rna which is formed with the help of rna polymerase second it is unfunctional yet because it contains both unwanted and um, wanted sequences okay in wanted sequences they are normally known as introns while the coding uh, sequences which are useful they are known as exons our motto is to get that type of rna which don't have introns so this nascent uh, nascent or heterogeneous rna it undergoes some modifications okay to form a functional mrna and these changes are known as post transcriptional changes okay first thing which is happening is capping capping is very important without capping translation is not possible cap is very important and it is happening at 5 dash prime and methyl guanosine triphosphate it is added at the 5 prime end of heterogeneous r rna clear this capping it uh, protects mrna from the enzymes which can damage or degenerate mrna next step is tailing okay tailing is addition of adenylate residues about you can say 200 to 300 residues they are added at the terminus at the 3 prime end of uh, heterogeneous rna and this is possible with the help of enzyme poly a polymerases clear so these are two kinds of modification 
The third one, which already I have described, that introns the non-coding part in heterogeneous RNA. So they have to get removed. Okay, and they are removed with the help with a process is known as splicing. Now these fully you can say processed or functional heterogeneous RNA now it gets transported inside the nucleus why it gets uh, transported over there because because of translation translation is the protein synthesis and it is happening inside the nucleus clear I guess you people have understood this topic Thank you for listening. If you have any question or any query, you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkor.com.